Andrea, and this is my colleague Benedict. We are proud to uh, introduce you to D-Plan, a real-time targeting planning framework, we call it. So DECOR is a media and market research company, and we are doing a lot of stuff um, connected to um, yeah, campaigns, and, and planning, media planning, and advertising effectiveness studies. So we are uh, in every single point you uh, need or you, you look at in a circle of media planning and campaign running. So we, we are all also, uh, we are doing yeah, stuff in this, uh, studies and things like that. But the problem is at the, at the moment that every single task you have or in every single step is not integrated. It's every singular. So it's complex and confusing and not integrated. You cannot look at a campaign completely with one database, plan it, um, let it run, track it, check it and evaluate it. Is, was it effective or not? We always have to look in different yeah, data sources. So, and also there's the lack of missing real-time planning. A lot of data that's available is always six weeks old at the moment the substantial time lag we have, and the things we measure online at the moment are not directly able to be planned. So we cannot uh, make a media plan and look in the data and see, okay, is this inventory, can I buy the inventory or is, is there enough inventory for uh, the medium rectangle or the skyscraper? That's not possible. And it's also fragmented, so we have a lot of different data sources, that's the problem. And multiple tools has to be used as we see a data virtuality that want to integrate all data into one yeah, lookup or, or tool. So and every guy has to deal at the moment with different tools. So then we see the solution is deep plan. We want to combine and integrate all different data sources that's available at the moment by campaign planning, tracking, and evaluating into one tool um, that makes it easier for everyone to plan a campaign, to track it, and to evaluate the campaign at the end with one data source. So and now I can uh, introduce you to the boring details of this um, uh, software tool. Um, I think the solution D plan is giving you a highly productive real time planning tool because basically this, this is what's uh, missing right now. Um, that's really leveraging the, the potential of the targeting data because uh, most data is either used for planning or it's used for evaluating or it's used to construct your target group, but there's no way to integrate all those data sources. And this means large efficiency gains for advertisers and agencies because they can use one tool to do all this and uh, in the end to, to book the, the, to buy the inventory. And um, this also gives you um, much more meaningful uh, KPIs. Um, if you're looking with the same kind of data structure at the, the planning stage and at the evaluation stage. And um, basically tracking, optimization, evaluation, all fed by one database. This is what um, DeepLan is about. And also one thing that's really missing right now is uh, the ability to have deep target group insights by combining all those um, uh, multiple data sources, which is uh, basically a theme we had the, the whole day, the last day and today. Also, th this seems to be one of the most interesting and most uh, uh, fascinating things you can uh, do with data. And this means, and this is uh, kind of the, the um, future of planning and why this is revolutionary, because it gives you virtually unlimited variables and combinations of features um, uh, by which you can uh, use your, uh, you combine your plans or you um, um, uh, do your target groups, because we can not only look at the data that is collected in, in one uh, step, for example, um, data collected by targeting or data collected in a, in a large survey, um, but you have the combination and you also have the, the material people are looking at. For example, the text, the content of the web page people are visiting. So this really gives you um, the unlimited variables and combinations. And this is, of course, a strong value add for inventory and also data stream providers because they can uh, sell their data stream to make better insights, to make better um, target group um, predictions. 
And the system looks like this. So you have all those uh, websites on the internet and um, each of those websites have different uh, beacons, for example, or cookies or, or pixels that's tracking data. And um, this is generating a lot of data streams. You have tracking data, you have uh, survey data, you can fu have a data fusion between different um, data sources. You have panel data, of course, and um, all kinds of third-party data, um, up to data uh, an advertiser has about its own website traffic. And some, some examples um, of data streams that can be used are uh, in the middle here. And um, then we are... Uh, combining those data sources, analyzing them, and um, giving the ability to construct audience data on measuring tags, on surveys, on predictions. And then we have D-Plan, it's used for planning and analysis. It gives you audience insight, and this in unlimited features. You have data for different target groups, for uh, placements, for networks, and you can, of course, uh, generate, uh, can calculate the campaign gross and net reach. Um, average contacts, GRPs, and so on. And this uh, gives you the, the different products, the data reports, the audience reports, um, media plans, campaign tracking. And the, the thing that's uh, interesting and really revolutionary here is that this data is used by the clients, by media agencies, by e-commerce uh, providers, by advertisers, um, of course also by the press, but the first um, are the most important to um, have new ideas of their target groups and this data can be directly fed into ad service and then you can plan with the data and then of course this, this circle goes around and uh, data gets better every, every uh, iteration. So uh, basically to wrap it up, the USPs are, um, it's real time or it's more or less real time, it's not uh, weeks but days. Um, it's a realistic representation of planning because you're not looking at uh, synthetic um, um, ideas of how your target group may look like, but you're looking at people that are really interested uh, in the brand. Um, it gives a direct access to, to ad um, uh, purchasing. It has a full coverage because it's uh, a technical measurement. Um, it's efficient. It's open. It's not dependent of certain publishers, of, of networks. It's an open uh, kind of standard. It's an open, uh, open platform, a framework, so we called it. Um, it's scalable and it's flexible. It's even open to customer-specific data that can be fused with the other um, data. And um, the potential clients are media planners and agencies, uh, media owners and networks. Those two are the core segments but also marketing managers and um, e-shops. Uh, uh, they can use the audience benchmarks uh, to calculate valid campaign performance metrics, for example. And there are some additional um, uh, groups that could uh, use data, that, like uh, joint industry committees, associations, the press, and so on. So we have a, uh, quite a large um, segment of um, potential clients. So this is it, um, and we're open for questions right now. Hi. Um, so how does this compare to full circle planning tools like Symphony from Facilitate Digital? So um, this is mainly based in Germany at the moment, and in Germany you have a different, uh, a very different uh, kind of media planning. You have a lot of studies, and not those uh, tool you mentioned. Uh, and that's uh, the problem up to now in Germany at the moment, that you always have to connect different data sources. Uh, Symphony is in Germany, uh, media yes, brands. But, uh, um, so that's great. So I'm in the media business for 12 years and I don't know the tool and I'm really into the media business. Uh, I worked at a um, um, publisher, a vermarkter, uh, and I have, we have agencies at clients so, and I don't know the tool. I don't think it's much used at the moment. Hi, uh, great presentation, by the way. Uh, quick question with regard to the matching. You're collecting all the data out of different sources, but you, as uh, you know, in your media bar, you still have to find those profiles or persons or target groups using ad, ad servers and stuff. So how do you match, you know, how do you know that the person 
you just, you know, want to show ad correlates to X profile in a database. It, that's one of the, the main um, hurdles for the challenges we have to solve. <laughs> uh, we have to get connected to, directly to that servers uh, so that, we, that our data we know can directly be planned. So there has to be a connection. We have to talk to with the agencies or, or publisher. So I guess the idea is that agencies, on behalf of their advertisers, are interested in means of better planning, more data, more you know, in-time insights, um, which would mean a, a huge change in you know, how they do their daily work. Is there evidence that this is going to happen, or that there really is an interest in, you know, because obviously it would mean a massive change in, uh, in, in how they do media planning. What do you think about that? Um, I'm a strong believer in planning uh, depend on the, the media brand or the environment. I believe that will always exist and it's, it's important if I have a big branding campaign, I have a homepage <coughs> event, etc. And deep plan is not for these campaigns. It is for campaigns where I have to get a lot of contacts, um, where I'm looking at the performance indicators, where I use uh, standard uh, ad forms, the UAP, uh, and so I think that there is a need for such a tool. Okay, well thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.